Hey friends, hello, good afternoon, and happy Friday to everybody. It's been a few weeks since we have picked up the camera and done any vlogging. Um, since the family reunion happened, so we weren't able to vlog then, or I chose not to. Um, I know some people were asking, hey, are you gonna take us along with you? And while I would have absolutely loved that, um, there is, there's so much going on. <laughs> there's so much going on, there's a lot to take in. Um, I was by myself and I did want to really soak in the experience and the trainings and being able to see my friends that I haven't seen in a long time, see new friends, meet new friends. Um, my, I had some team that was there. So um, it's just for any of you who did attend Sensi Family Reunion, maybe this was your first time. It was a lot, right? <laughs> Like it's just, it's like system overload and it's over several days and there is no slowing down. So um, all of that to say that it's taken me basically a week to get over the SFR hangover <laughs> because that's a thing. Uh, it just, like I said, you're just, you're go, 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 go. And you're just soaking in everything around the clock. Um, there were 6,500 uh, consultants that were there so a ton of people and it was it was it was bittersweet it was a really great experience but I did miss Sean this is my first time um, being to Sensi Family Reunion without Sean and that was that was hard but um, it was on the other hand it was nice to be able to experience Sensi Family Reunion with some of my team and get a chance to like I said catch up with some old friends and meet new friends and um, see everything that is to come for the upcoming fall and winter season it's gonna be amazing it's gonna be really really amazing so um, anyways we are back and kind of getting back to the grind here so I figured why not vlog? We don't have a whole heck of a lot going on this weekend, but I do have some things to catch you up on. Um, backyard is, we're plugging along. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. So in, in case you don't know why Sean didn't come to Sensei Family Reunion, um, because of the backyard. So as many of you know, over the last several months, we have been in the landscaping process. We purchased a new home here. Um, it's been a little over a year and a half now. and with a lot of new homes, at least out our way, <clears throat> a lot of times you don't have a yard that is like already done. Uh, not only did we not have a yard that was done, there was a lot of work to put into it, even to just start from like a blank canvas. <laughs> um, a lot of grading, a lot of like dirt had to be brought in. Um, this was, this, this, it was a lot, it was a lot. Um, but we went with sod in the front yard and then something called hydro seed in the backyard uh, because we are on a little over an acre. We're on uh, 1.17 acres. It would have cost us, we, we would have had to win the lottery <laughs> to uh, sod our backyard. In a perfect world, that would be awesome. Lay it, water it, and you're done. But um, we decided to go with the hydro seed route because it was a fraction of the price for the amount of space we had to cover in grass. So um, we, we went with that. A few of our neighbors have done the hydro seed as well and it came out great. So we were like, let's go the hydro seed route. So with that, you cannot step on it. You can't have dogs on it for three weeks. I was willing to like push the envelope a little bit because we were at like two and a half weeks was SFR from when the seed was planted. So I was telling Sean, I was like, just go. Like, it's it, it'll be fine. <laughs> we spent a lot of money on our landscaping. So Sean's like, no, like, I don't wanna like cut this short for the amount of money we put into the landscaping and stuff. So I'm like, okay, you know what? You're right. And the whole reason um, for that, cause I'm sure you're probably like, well, the dogs have to go to the bathroom somewhere, right? Um, yes, they have to go in, in the front yard. Um, so they're leashed up and I was, we were not comfortable with having Sean's mom having to take them out on a leash cause it's a whole ordeal. It's a whole or ordeal and they're big dogs. So we just decided it was the best to have Sean stay home with the dogs and deal with them. So um, I'm glad that we came to that decision because it's not going like super according to plan <laughs> with the backyard. Uh, it's, it's not looking its best. 
but we have had a couple of lawn guys out. The, the guy who planted the seed came out and um, one of his buddies that's like a lawn expert came out and um, did make us feel a little bit better to say that like, well, it's not the worst I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, there's just some spots are lush and thick and green and coming in great. And then there's some spots that are like a little thinner. And then there's some spots that are like totally dry. There's some spots that are like having a fungus issue because there's too much water that's going onto those spots because there's um, some of the zones, the sprinkler zones are like overlapping. So it's getting too much water. Some spots aren't getting enough water. It's just, it's a whole thing. Like who knew that there would be so much drama in landscaping? <laughs> so yeah, so I will give you an update. I will show you the process of the backyard, but please just know this is merely an update. This is not like the finished product. Um, we will probably have to seed again in some of the spots. Um, and the, both the guy who planted the hyd hydro seed as well as like his expert friend was like, um, you know, this is not uncommon to have to reseed, uh, based on when we seeded at the hottest possible point of the year. Um, so it's not like totally uncommon for this. So, uh, that made us feel a little bit better. And then for those of you, and I think it was the last vlog, we were asking, what do you think we're going to do? Are we going to buy a riding lawnmower? Are we going to hire lawn maintenance? <laughs> uh, we hired lawn maintenance. <laughs> and honestly, I'm really glad we did because he is super knowledgeable. He actually moved here from California as well, not too far from where we're from. And um, super cool guy, him and Sean totally hit it off. And it's, he seems to really know his stuff. And he really knows this stuff because he's like your landscaper screwed you like seriously like they did a really bad job on a lot of this stuff um it's like totally our luck right <laughs> like if you've been with us from the beginning from when we moved here like we've just been getting crap contractor after crap contractor and we keep getting screwed over and i just i don't get it i, I don't get it i don't get it but i think we've got a good guy in this in this lawn maintenance guy um he's like you know not to worry like we're gonna get this going it's gonna it's gonna be a process but we're gonna get this looking really good so there's that <laughs> so with all of that being said i'll go ahead and show you the progress of the landscaping but hi friends happy friday and welcome to the vlog also, you may see a couple new additions here. <laughs> we have some new lawn furniture, which we're super excited about. Um, this chair right here, sorry, it's kind of windy, so I don't know how much of this my camera's gonna pick up, but this is like the best chair in the whole entire world. I sat in it once at RC Willie, and I was like, yes, this has to come home to mama. <laughs> I love it, it's so good. So we've got, this was a set that was on sale for like a crazy, crazy good deal. So we couldn't say no. And now we've got a little set that we can sit out on, which is great. I'm showing them our landscaping. Say hi, Sean. Hi, Sean. <clears throat> so, okay, so let's go ahead and show you. And dun, 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 we've got a new toy. So for a couple years now, Sean's been wanting to get like a Blackstone or a griddle of some sort. So um, that just made it, huh? Oh yeah, and that this little guy too, I'll show you. Um, but yeah, this is a little griddle situation. Um, we are very loyal to brands. <laughs> so we are a Weber family. So we decided to go with this guy here. Um, so we are actually getting ready to season it right now. I'm gonna show you the process of that, I guess. Um, but yeah, we're really excited about that. Also grabbed this little guy here. A Weber traveler so this is a grill uh, Sean does quite a bit of camping so um, <clears throat> this is gonna be great to take camping should probably remove that before we start cooking <laughs> but yeah this is just a perfect little um, that is the biggest bee I've ever seen in my life <laughs> oh my God. I was like trying not to scream because I'm on camera <laughs> Oh my gosh okay uh yeah so this is this is a little travel grill so really nice okay let's go ahead and check out the grass so you will see along the fence 
the weeds are popping up like crazy. This actually looks a lot better than it did. Our, um, our lawn guy, his name is Brandon. He's awesome. He came and like worked on quite a few of the weeds and stuff. But so we've got spots like this that are dry. You can probably see those like pretty distinct green lines. That's like where the sprinkler lines are running. So those are like happy spots. <clears throat> um, if you see like what looks like white salt or whatever, that's um, a fertilizer to hopefully help build some grass in these super dry areas. But you can see it's just not. And we did everything by the book to the T in terms of like watering and everything but these spots that are like in the center here these are like overlapping in zones so it's just getting beaten to death by water so um it's just not growing very well so but let me show you the enormous rocks that we've been pulling out of the ground uh yeah so our landscaper so that they got all the rocks out. Yeah, those are like the size of my head. Grass is not going to grow through that. <laughs> so that's cool. Um, so when you pull rocks that size out of the ground, it leaves gaping holes. <laughs> so that's super cool. But We're getting there. Right, babe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're doing great. We're doing great. <laughs> I'm fine. What I will say is, this, you know, I don't know about is, at least we haven't lost any trees or plants or anything. You know, this whole, like, grass thing may take some time, but... Any plants or trees. So that's what I've got. So Sean is now seasoning his new Weber griddle. Oh, sorry, this is not seasoning. This is just cleaning. So I'm not sure how much of that you could actually hear because what is that? Do you guys hear that? Sean? We're just gonna roll with it. I don't know how much of that you could actually hear uh, because it's windy out there, but um, in preparation for the first use of the griddle, which we are not going to be doing tonight, we're actually have what, what was that? What was it? That sound. The air? Oh, um, yeah, so before you use it, you need to clean it and season it and stuff. So that's what we were doing. We as in Sean, just taking some dish soap, washing it down, and then you turn it on, heat it up, and then repeat like three times. Yep. So that's what all that's about. And the first one is shortly. Heck yeah. So there you go. There is the progress of life here on the Roeberry Homestead. <laughs> 
We're doing we're doing great. <laughs> this segment brought to you by Crisco. Crisco. And now we turn it on, wait for it to stop smoking, rinse and repeat. This chair is quite possibly my favorite piece of furniture in the whole entire house. Oh, yeah. I love it. I just ordered another one for the uh, Did you? <laughs> oh, it's so nice, you guys. I told Sean, I was like, if you ever can't find me, just come outside and look in my little basket chair. I love it. It's so good. Okay, so now we're taking a little break from seasoning the new, um, what is this? Is that a griddle? Yep. Seasoning the griddle, and it is time to throw together dinner. So tonight, we are actually having one of my favorite recipes ever that Sean does. It is shrimp scampi. You guys have seen this probably a million and one times here on the channel, um, maybe even on his channel as well. Yes, his channel is still going. It's just, <laughs> his channel is still up and going. It's just... Life is just crazy. So um, we definitely want to continue. I mean, we still have to eat our way through Italy. So uh, that will be happening at some point. It's just there's not enough time in a day, <laughs> as it turns out. So all right, let's whip up some shrimp scampi. Delicioso. <laughs>
And just like that, we have a beautiful shrimp scampi dinner. Oh yes, like I said, this is one of my favorites. If you're hungry right now watching this, you should be. You're missing out because this is delicious. Hey friends, hello, good morning, and happy Saturday. Do you guys see this? I'm wearing a sweatshirt in August. <laughs> Oh man, it is a beautiful, beautiful morning out. Um, Sean and I were actually talking, and I'm gonna knock on wood here. Um, this summer has been really mild. I know we're like smack in the middle of summer, so I'm sure we're gonna have another like week or two that's gonna pop up here and be like 7,000 degrees, but it's really been a pretty mild summer. We really haven't had anything that's been super, super uncomfortable. Um, now the Rowberries love cold weather like i'm here for the snow i'm here for the like 10 degree weather like I i'm here for that <laughs> um but relatively speaking like it the last summer was way way worse but yeah this is so nice i these are the mornings i live for that are crisp and cool and we can open all the windows turn on the whole house fan suck in that fresh air it's just I am here for it. <laughs> I am here for it. So, um, yeah, but I, um, I am getting ready to actually change out a couple of my, um, air purifier air filters. The little indicator light is on currently. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, letting me know that it is time to change out the air filter. So I figured I'd do that with you. Sean actually ran up to the store. We are going to use our griddle for the first time this morning. We're going to do some bacon and eggs and sausage on it for our breakfast. <sighs> I'm excited because it's a super cool. I, I know we're like probably the last people to the like outdoor griddle game, but we're here for it. <laughs> we're excited. But while he's doing that, I figured I would go ahead and clean up two of my air purifier filters because it is time. So when, if you have um, a Sensi air purifier, I think if you have any air purifier, it's worth it. Like these things are not cheap. They are definitely an investment but i feel like it's definitely an investment well worth spending especially if you are like us during this time of year where it's nice outside you're opening windows especially if you have a whole house fan a whole house fan what it does it sits in the attic but what it does is it, it actually like pulls the air from outside and brings it in, which is really, really nice on days like this when it's nice and cool outside and you want to just kind of like you want to turn off the AC because you don't need the AC right now, uh, but just like pull in that fresh air. It's really nice. But when you're pulling in that fresh air, sometimes you're getting some of like dust and dirt and things like that. And it could poor Sean is like really struggling with his allergies right now. His eyes are all like swollen and he's poor thing. Um, he is taking allergy meds, but it's just, he's suffering pretty bad right now. I feel bad. But, um, yeah, with all of that being said, having an air purifier is really, really nice. Um, just to kind of clean the air that's that you're breathing in right so we're gonna do the embarrassing thing of changing the air filter together <laughs> so you are gonna see how dirty these things are one of these is from my bedroom i think this uh, the second one is from my bedroom um this one this one's from the sun zero yes we have a bunch of these <laughs> all throughout uh i believe we have nine I think we have that's that is what's going to tell you I truly believe in this product I think when you change your air purifier filter for the first time that's when you're like okay I need to save up and put one of these in every room of the house <laughs> because the first time you change it you're gonna be like yep it's time so um, we know it's time because like I was saying my little air purifier change light filter is illuminated I'm gonna show you how to uh, turn that off as well um, but so on the bottom, we've got this little door here. We are going to unlock this one's from the Sensi room. So it shouldn't be too bad. There's not like a ton of like activity that goes up on in there. Um, yeah, this is really not too bad, but I still change it whenever the filter says it needs to be changed. You don't, th these are expensive. <laughs> like don't cheap out because you don't want to change the filter. Like you don't want to ruin this machine. So um, yeah, this is this is not bad. I can tell you my bedroom one is going to be way worse because um, it sits right next to the window that we keep open. 
the dogs sleep in there with us. Um, what I have found, <laughs> what I have found is that these guys not only clean the air, but they're also little like gnat catchers. I'm sure there's gonna be a bunch of gnats in the one of the bedroom, so. Okay, so let me show you the brand new one, um, just cause then you'll really see kind of the difference. So this is not, like I said, this is not a bad, a bad one. This one's the dirty one. This is the clean one. So this is the one from my Sensi room. So I am typically the only one that's in there and I'm really, I mean, I go in there every day so whether I'm like pulling bars to melt and warm and enjoy or put things away or filming. So that's usually the only activity that goes on in that room. <laughs> um, but yeah, so the one in the bedroom, there's a lot more activity in there. It's right next to a window. So it's probably gonna be a lot more dirty and there's probably gonna be a ton of dog hair in there too because the dogs sleep in there with us. But still, I wanna go ahead and change this out because the filter said, or the um, air purifier machine said it's, it's time. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So, um, this doesn't look that bad at all. Typically what I'll do is I'll just wipe out <clears throat> the inside just with a damp paper towel, just wipe it out, wipe out the, the outside as well because this, um, this area is what is sucking in the air from around. Um, so I'll wipe that down and then I'll also go outside with this um, compressed air. Um, just It's just a keyboard duster. Um, and then I will like, go ahead and dust like these grates and stuff this really doesn't look bad um but i'll still i'll wipe that down here in just a second let me show you <laughs> let me show you the bedroom one because that one's gonna be a lot worse okay so and also what i'll do is i'll take out the purifier pods and put some fresh ones in there as well so the top of this one doesn't look too bad um you can definitely see i've got some like dog hair <laughs> that's attached here Okay, so let's, this one's gonna be worse. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see. Actually, it's not too bad. There's a couple, yeah, okay, there we go. Yep. <laughs> okay. Ooh, okay, do you see this? Do you see the hair? <laughs> Dirt-wise, it's not too bad. Um, yeah, you've, I've got some little friends here, some little gnat friends. <laughs> um, Dirt-wise, it's not too bad, but it is, definitely time to go ahead and clean this. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this out. I'm gonna take these outside and kind of use the uh, keyboard duster to just get all of that junk out of there and then we'll be ready for new filters. I got this weight on my shoulders, slowing me down. I don't know how it came about. And while the world is spinning faster every night, I feel I'm stuck in reverse somehow. But it ain't no one's fault that I am stuck here. No one to blame this on, feeling so hopeless. I keep on pouring salt on. Okay, and easy peasy, fresh and squeezy, we've got some fresh, clean air purifiers to now clean the air in my house. So super happy about that. There's just something so satisfying about like really going in and like cleaning these things. Cause you're, you know, it's about to get dirty all over again. <laughs> so we've got our brand new filters. We're just gonna drop these in. And then I'll show you how to turn off the light in case you have one of these things. Um, Cause that's always like the biggest <laughs> thing. People are like, wait a minute, why is my, my filter change light not going off? I'll show you why. So I'm just dropping the new filter in and locking this door. So filter is in place. We're good to go there. Got one more here. Okay locked and loaded we are good to go but what you will see i brought my little plug thingy over here so you'll see we went through wiped it out changed the filter locked it in place brand new filter fresh clean all of that and then you will see that that silly 
air filter change light is still illuminated. It's okay, <laughs> it's okay. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna turn the air purifier on, just like that, and see it's already turning red. <laughs> We're right in front of a window, so it's like, hello. Okay, so once it's on, you'll press and hold that power button, and you'll see that little light, the uh, filter change light has now been reset. Then you can turn it on, start filtering the air, and you're good to go. All right, so we'll do it with this one one more time. Since I've got you here, why not? All right, so again, we see the filter change light. We'll turn it on, and then we'll press and hold. It has been reset. Good to go. So happy Saturday, and thanks for doing my chores with me. <laughs> Did you know? Do you have a fact? Yeah. No. <laughs> Did you know we're vlogging? <laughs> That's right. All right, so as you guys can see, Sean just got home from the store, went, ran up to Walmart and grabbed some things for our breakfast, bre blah, 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 breakfast extravaganza on the griddle. Let's check out what he got. Okay, pointy. <laughs> All right, we are ready for this Walmart grocery haul here. We've got some Lando Lakes butter with canola oil. We've got some thick sliced bacon. This is local here to uh, Idaho. This is Twin Falls, right? Yes. Yes. This is the Twin Falls brand. Yes, Falls brand. <clears throat> yes. Uh, we have all kinds of- Falls brand. Oh, look, look at that. Keeping it all local. Uh, we've got sausage links. We have sausage patties. We have a cheese variety. This is like Sean's favorite ever. Uh, the Tillamook uh, triple cheddar blend farm style. Farm style. Farm style shreds. He likes those thick, rustic cuts. <laughs> uh, and then we've got uh, just a block of sharp cheddar. We have uh, some sourdough bread. Oh, the potatoes are Oh, the potatoes are Brian. <laughs> we've got some potatoes and then we've got some delicious tea i am like currently totally obsessed with this brand of tea it's so dang good and then yeah we're gonna uh, yes point pointy's here he pointed he's done um i love <laughs> love love this pure leaf brand such good teas i really really like them um and then sean found this fun juice um white crayon strawberry hello <laughs> i'm here for it so excited to give that a try so there you have it. There is your Walmart grocery haul for this Saturday morning. Let's get to cooking.
catch all. So the first time for the mister on the griddle and I can tell you we're not going to be disappointed. <laughs> there is so much here. Oh my gosh. And then we're going to have to go into a food coma. Hey friends. Hello. Good Good morning. It's not noon yet. Good morning and happy Tuesday. It's been a couple of days since I picked up the camera. Um, we just kind of got busy and just didn't have a chance to pick up the camera. Um, but today is also a busy day, but I figured, you know what? I'm doing some things. I'll show you some things. We've got some exciting packages that are arriving today. Um, and so I figured, you know what? I'll go ahead and pick up the camera today. I'll close it out with you guys. There won't be any What's Lisa smelling this vlog. Um, probably the next vlog for sure. It's just, we've got, we've just got a lot going on and we're kind of like all over the place with stuff. So um, no What's Lisa smelling this time, but um, like I said, definitely next time for sure. But little update on the griddle. We are loving it. We are really, really loving it. Um, the breakfast that we did that you guys saw probably in the last clip was absolutely amazing. We made way too much, <laughs> but we weren't really sure like if like some of the eggs were gonna stick because eggs are like kind of notorious for sticking to like cast iron. And that's essentially what this griddle is. It's a cast iron griddle. Um, so we weren't really sure, but it, yeah, it, 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 this thing is amazing. <laughs> We love it. Um, we did on Sunday morning, if you are an OG with us, if you've been hanging around with us for years, we have had this like Sunday morning routine of doing breakfast burritos for several years now. Let me tell you, our Sunday morning breakfast burritos this last Sunday on the griddle were the most amazing breakfast burritos we've had in our, I shouldn't say, I shouldn't speak for Sean. They were the most amazing breakfast burritos I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I'm not even joking. So good. So much flavor. We did the Simply Potatoes on the griddle. Got nice and crispy. Ugh. Mwah, chef's kiss. So dang good. So we are still absolutely loving it. And I, I don't know that we're ever going to cook inside again. <laughs> We are just loving, loving, loving it. Um, I will show you, I, I'll show you, I guess, an update of the backyard. I know this is the same vlog, but I feel like it's like the grass is getting better and better each day. The, the weeds are still very much here, <laughs> but they're not going anywhere until like the grass can fully grow in and then we can use like a weed preventative, which I don't know if I mentioned already, we're about a month out from being able to use any kind of weed preventative on the lawn. So it's just, we just have to deal with it. We just, we just have to deal with it, mow over them um, for the next month and just hope, hopefully the grass will come in and just choke them out and get them out of here. But um, yeah, it is what it is. And I do feel like each day it's getting better and better, which is really, really good. So, um, any who's old, I am currently actually working on editing some videos, but I'm also making some samples. Um, I know you guys have seen me make samples before, um, but in the summertime or when it's really warm outside, the wax, the full like wax samples that I think you've seen before, those don't work for mailers. <laughs> Those do not work for mailers. Those like full wax samples work great for any local orders and things that I can pack and just hand off to people. But anything that's going in the mail when it's 7,000 degrees outside, the wax samples are not going to make it. It's just going to become a mess in the mailer. So, and since we are getting ready to launch a brand new catalog with Sensi, um, we are getting ready to mail out all of our mailers to our existing customers. And so, um, and new customers, I don't know why I said existing, all of our customers <laughs> um, are going to be getting um, some Happy Meal because we're getting ready to go into the fall and winter season, which is so, so exciting. So with that means I need to do some like uh, pre-gaming here, <laughs> some prep work, if you will, of um, getting some samples and stuff together. But in the warmer months, we do felt samples. So I figured I'd go ahead and show you kind of what that looks like. It's super cool. I love the idea of the wax sample or the felt sample. It's not as awesome as a full wax sample because you, you know, it's nice to have like a nice hearty sample to just like pop into your warmer and experience the fragrance. But um, when it's warm outside and it's not going to make it, the felt sample will at least make it to you because when the wax melts, it just stays in the felt, which is great. Um, and then it arrives to you and you can still experience the fragrance, actually smell what it smells like. You can actually pop 
the felt sample into your warmer if you want to nothing it's not gonna like catch on fire or anything like that um you're not gonna get the full like scent throw as you would with like a full like wax sample but at least it gives you a chance to like see what something smells like so one thing that I like to do is I'll go through like my club bars and stuff scents that are returning um, like apple cherry strudel pumpkin roll pumpkin cinnamon swirl like those that I've had in my club and um, that's perfect for now when I can go ahead and melt down samples and share them with people that maybe don't know what those scents smell like and also oh my gosh for my consultant friends grab yourself some bricks <laughs> through Scentsy Club I love bricks anyway Bricks for my own personal use are amazing, but definitely for samples, it makes the sample making process so nice because you're not just going through bars. You can go through an entire brick and make a boatload of samples. So um, I'm actually warming through a uh, baked apple pie brick because that's definitely a scent that it's around all year typically. But for me, like when it's hot outside, I'm not really feeling like cinnamon and apple pie and like it, it's very like it's very folly to me same with welcome home a very fall scent but typically is around all year um but those are great scents i feel like to sample out and include with the fall and winter catalog which is great so uh yeah uh i'm gonna make some samples here so come do some samples with me okay so we are making our samples here um and let me just show you kind of and i um i get these little like sandwich pouches <laughs> um they're they're not um plastic it's kind of like a parchment paper um and so i'll just keep my samples in here until we like bag and tag them uh, but this is kind of what they look like so um i actually like doing these because they dry super super fast <laughs> so you'll see i lay down some parchment paper and i dip the felt sample let me show you what this felt starts out looking like here so it's just you can get these bags of felt samples through uh, Scentsy, through the consultant store. You can get these Scentsy ones, or you can even like go to Michael's or whatever um, craft store or what have you, and you can get sheets of felt if you would like to, and you can cut your own cute shapes. I think you can even get like pre-cut cute shapes of felt through like Amazon and stuff too. I just, I go with these. I like the, the Scentsy ones, so that's just, that works for me. Um, but yeah, so it's just this little like this little felt sample that has been soaked in baked apple pie. So then you can take it out of the out of the little baggie that we send it in, smell it, enjoy it. Now you know what something smells like. You can even pop, like I said, pop this into a warmer and see um, how it is just like a little bit warmed up if you want to. Um, yeah, so I just I lay down the parchment paper and dip these felt pieces into my candy melter, which you're going to see, and just take some tweezers and just pop it out and let them dry on the parchment paper. It takes like just a couple minutes for them to dry and they're good to go. So um, yeah, since we are getting ready to do a mass like mailer with the new catalog, um, I'm a sample making machine <laughs> right now. So uh, let's make some samples.
friends, so a little progress check-in for you for today. I made a boatload of samples, which is great, and I got a very, very special delivery. We have not one, not two, not three, four, but we have five big old Scentsy boxes that are just dying to be ripped into. Now, clearly I've already ripped into one because my neighbor, um, this is an order for her. So yes, so exciting. We've got all kinds of things in here. We also have some new season things. How beautiful is this catalog, you guys? It's totally giving me like Pottery Barn vibes. It's absolutely gorgeous. Super, super excited for the new season, the new scents, the new fragrance systems, all the things. So exciting. September 1st. So now that we've got all of that stuff delivered and ready to go, um, we're almost ready to start mailing these out. I say almost because I also ordered the rub and sniff stickers for the new releases that we, we started mail, this, that was Sean's idea. Was it, it, has it been a year? Actually, I think it was last, fall and winter. I don't know when it was. It, it's been, it's been a year or a year and a half, I think, since we started um, sending those with our happy mail. And um, it's been really good. It's been really good. It gives you a chance to like smell some of the new releases or all of the new releases. Um, but I ordered, I ordered my rub and sniff stickers and good old FedEx is really coming through. Um, the label was created on Friday the 4th. Today is Tuesday the 8th <laughs> and there is no update. So it may not be a FedEx issue. FedEx may not have picked it up, but I'm wondering, I'm wondering if FedEx picked it up and they just haven't, maybe they lost it. <laughs> Oh no, so we can't mail anything out until we actually get these stickers in. So um, if there's no like tracking update by this Friday, because that'll be one week, then Sensi will process a replacement and we'll file a claim and all of that good stuff. But it just sucks to literally have all the things here ready to go except for the stickers and the stickers are what take the longest to like cut them all up and everything it's fine i actually really enjoy doing it it's very zen to me but um it just sucks that that's like the most time consuming part of all of this and that's the last piece to arrive so that's awesome <laughs> okay let me show you the up the update on the back on the backyard i know Excuse me, I know that um, I did show you an update um, in this vlog, but I don't know, I feel like I can see a difference like every single day. Now, again, keep in mind, there's lots of weeds. There's lots of weeds. <laughs> totally aware that will go away, hopefully sooner rather than later, um, but we're really trying to just get the grass to come in and be thick and beautiful and lush and kick out those darn weeds. Okay, so. I feel like this dry area over here is getting less, it feels like. I don't know if I'm just like overanalyzing. <laughs> I'm not sure, um, but it feels like it's getting less. The blades of grass here are super happy, which is great. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's coming together. Again, you just, we need to just ignore ignore the weeds for now and i feel like it's getting better they did say this is going to be a process so we just have to be patient and trust the process which is kind of a hard thing to do when you just want grass <laughs> but um like i said I, th I do think that each day it does get a little better this side over here we feel like we can see a big difference um because this was super, super dry over here. So the fact that we've got green popping through is really good. Um, this area needs some work. This may need to be reseeded here in a couple weeks, but we'll just have to wait and see. But yeah. So this is your 
backyard update for this vlog. Next vlog, it's gonna all be lush and beautiful and thick. Send all of your happy grass vibes <laughs> our way because we can use them for sure. All right, you guys, it is time for me to pack up that order and get it on over to my neighbor's house, get her Scentsy goodies over to her. I know she's excited for the new scent and warmer of the month for August, so I'm not gonna make her wait any longer. So that is going to wrap up the vlog together. So thank you guys, as always, so, so much for hanging out with us during this vlog. I know it was probably pretty random and sporadic, but that's just how we do things around here. <laughs> If you're new here, new to the vlogs, hello and welcome. I hope you'll stick around. Hey, stay tuned for all the continued landscaping excitement. I'm hoping next time it's going to look so much better. <laughs> so we'll see. All right, you guys, thank you again so much for hanging out with us, and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye.